Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Eustace Farmer, and how would you like to run around like a speeding bullet, or even fly a bit faster than that painful standard speed, all without using mods? I'm going to show you how to do this, and much, much more, right after this message. Whether you're just hanging around bored, or just need something to do while you're sitting on the toilet, why not join our Discord group, the Simulation Gaming Society. Eustace, let's get on with the video. Oh yes, dear. All right, so first things first, I cannot take credit for figuring out how to enable this particular cheat. And what it is, is it's an extension to Developer's Console. So if you do not have Developer's Console enabled on your PC, and if you don't know how to enable Developer's Console, at the end of my video, during the closing credits, I'm going to put up a couple of video clip icons that you can click on. One is going to teach you how to enable the console developer's mode and uh, learn how to fly and add money and all that. And there's another one there that's going to show you how to turn off depth of field. So what you're going to see if you look in the description of my video is credit for who taught me how to enable this what I call is the rabbit hole that sends you down to Farming Simulator Wonderland. It opens up a whole host of helpful tools that you can use to make your farming life easier and if you're a YouTuber especially because it's going to help you prepare for a video faster. It gives you tools to do things that you would have to do manually before. So I want to give a big thank you to first of all to Landy Kit because I was talking to him and I asked him how he was running around the map with the high-speed pitter-patter like Fred Flintstone. And um, he said, oh, I can tell you how to do that. He said, uh, here's a link to Rainbow Dave's video. Go watch that, and he shows you how to do it. Fantastic. Nobody else has made a video on this particular method. So if it wasn't for that, I would never know because it's not something that you can just happen upon or figure out on your own. And you'll see why when you watch his video. So what my goal in this video is, I'm not going to show you how to enable it. Rainbow Dave's going to show you how to do that. This video kind of picks up where he left off. I'm going to show you how to use a lot of the other tools that also unlock when you activate this particular cheat. Now, regarding Rainbow Dave's tutorial video, he ran into a few little snags regarding the disc game version, showing you how to activate the cheat with the disc. So later on in the video, he did figure out what he did wrong and um, he attempted to show you, but what happened was he was like, um, oh, I figured out what it was, why it didn't work. Let me close the game and uh, we'll sh get it sorted. So he closed out the game and um, his recording software had then stopped recording video and all you hear is his audio and you can hear the keyboard going on a black screen and he says, let's try it the other way it could possibly be done, which is put that code after that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hello, after what? And then I thought about it for a minute and I put two and two together because I watched the beginning of the tutorial and I figured it out. But a lot of people may not figure it out. So I put two links to his video in my description. They are time-coded links. If you play the game on Steam, you click on the link that says Steam Tutorial. That's going to pick up right where the Steam Tutorial portion of the video starts, and you can watch it from that point up until 1 minute and 42 seconds, or the end of the video, it's your choice. But you'll get what you need out of it up to 1.42. Regarding the disc portion of the game, there'll be a link that says Disc Tutorial. Click on that link, it's going to start in at about 10 seconds into the video, and it's going to play up to 40 seconds. That's when you're going to get what you need to know. What he does is, he shows you what to click on, what to open up, and where to type the code. Unfortunately, he typed the code in the wrong position, but in the correct line. So you'll watch the video to the 40 second mark, and then you're going to look down in the comments section and read his pinned post to learn the update to that little method. So a big thank you goes out to Rainbow Day for taking the time to make this video to help make all our farm sim gaming a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Thanks very much, Rainbow Dave. All right, so this first cheat, or set of cheats, harkens back to the FS17 days where there was a mod that came out called GS Money Cheat. And this is basically the GS Money Cheat. We never needed a mod. Who would have known that then? So thank goodness that mod author created a script to make a mod out of that. 
So to add money to your game via the developer's console, just open it up and type in small gs, cheat with a capital C, money with a capital M, and hit the enter key, and you get an automatic $10 million. If you would like to add a specific denomination, you just type in the GS Money Cheat, capital C, capital M, then hit the space bar once, and then type in the amount that you would like to add to your game. If you want to remove a specific denomination, just do the drill. GS Money Cheat, space bar, and then you're gonna hit the minus symbol and then type in the amount that you would like to remove from the game. And when you're typing in the numeric values, you don't use any commas or dots, just the numbers. So at any point when you see these cards come up on the screen, you can pause the video and take a screenshot. I'm gonna have seven cards similar to this throughout the tutorial showing you different cheat codes. And then you can put them all together in a folder on your computer or on your phone, and then you can access them as kind of a reference when you want to use one of these cheats and you may not have used it in a while and this is a handy little way to remember those things. So here it is in action, GS Money Cheat, enter, and there you go, you get your $10 million automatically. GS Money Cheat space minus 10 million and it takes it back away. And if you wanted to add in that specific denomination, you would just type in that GS Money Cheat space and then the amount that you wanted, just like the chart show. So here's a little cheat to fill up your silo with all the various fruits in the game. GS Cheat Silo with a capital C and a capital S, the space bar, and then you're gonna type in all caps your choice of crop that you wanna add into your silo. Soy, wheat, barley, canola, maize, and sunflower. Obviously the silo's not gonna do potatoes or beets because they don't normally go in a silo. So as you see here, I have 21,517 liters out of the 400,000 capacity that the silo holds. So let's go ahead and take that out of there. GS Cheat Silo, space, wheat in all caps, space, minus 21,000. There we go. Zero out of 400,000 in our silo. I did have to sneak back off cam and remove the additional 517 liters that I forgot to remove when you saw me typing on the screen. So a little sneaky business there from old Eustace. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some grain back into the silo so I can show you how to do that. GS, cheat silo, space, wheat in all caps, space, 50,000. And there you go. Okay, so don't be scared. <laughs> this next one's gonna take a little bit of explaining, but it's very easy. The way giants divided up the map is not by farm field. It's divided into numbered lots, which include farm fields, okay? So if you wanted to sell or buy a particular field, for instance, say field eight, which is lot number 14. So lot number 14 includes field eight and the surrounding area. The reason why giants did this is because you can purchase swaths of land that do not have farm fields included in them, such as the biogas plant, which is in lot number 23. So what I did was I went through and I figured out what each lot number was, because just when they seem to go in sequence, then they kind of jump around. So it took a little figuring out. Also, the lot number 48 is not assigned to any piece of land on the map. So it jumps from 47 to 49 for some odd reason. But if you put in 48, it'll say it purchased it, but there's nothing to purchase. <laughs> so um, it goes from 47 to 49. So that being said, if you would like to purchase one field, you would type in GS, the word buy, with a capital B, and then farmland, with a capital F, hit the space bar, and then you would type in the corresponding lot number in red. So again, if I wanted to purchase field eight, I would put the number 14. So GS, sell, farmland, space, 14, hit enter, and it sold that field eight with the surrounding land, GS by farmland space 14. Now I've purchased it again. So let's say you wanna sell the whole shebang or buy the whole shebang all at once, everything. Very easy to do. If you look down on the bottom left, GS buy all with a capital B and a capital A farmlands 
with a capital F and then hit enter and you'll purchase everything. If you want to sell it all, that's just as easy. GS Sell All Farmlands, capital S, capital A, and then a capital F in farmlands, okay? Then hit the enter bar and you've sold all the land. Let me go ahead and give you a quick demonstration of both. GS Sell All Farmlands, enter, and there you go. We've sold them all. GS Buy All Farmlands, enter, and we've purchased them all again. It's that easy. So if you haven't done so already, this is a good time to pause the video and take a screenshot of this chart so you'll have it as a reference. All right, so compared to the last screen, this one is refreshingly simple, isn't it now? <laughs> so how would you like to have a straw bale or a cotton bale just drop out of the sky for you? What a beautiful thing. So I have tried this with hay or grass and it doesn't work. It just will drop straw. So, um, for one straw bale, you just type in GS add with a capital A, bale with a capital B, the space bar, and then hit enter and it falls out of the sky. You can do that as many times as you want. For cotton, it's the same thing. GS add bale space the word cotton in all caps and press the enter key and a big old cotton bale will come flying down from the sky. So step back. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you how that works in game. GS add bale enter and kaboom there you go gs add bale spacebar cotton in all caps and boom there you go all right so with this one hey maybe you like a vehicle that has that used or lived in look <laughs> or maybe you are too cheap to buy a pressure washer but you still want to clean your vehicle but the more practical reason to use it is if you've downloaded a new mod and you want to see if it indeed does get dirty, and if it does, how much, and if it looks correct. This is a great cheat to use for those purposes. So just type in GS, add with a capital A, dirt with a capital D, amount with a capital A. Hit the space bar, and then you're gonna enter a value from one to 100. One being the least dirty, 100 being 100% dirty. Now, if you wanna clean the vehicle, it's the opposite. You go from 100 down to zero, zero being totally clean. So I bet you're thinking, hey Eustace, how about a brief demonstration? Coming right up, I got you covered, my friend. GS, add dirt amount, Space 100, enter, and boom, filthy dirty. And don't forget, any implement attached to the vehicle will get dirty as well. GS, add dirt amount, space minus 100, and boom, it's totally clean. And that's where I kind of just misinformed you previously. So when you're cleaning the vehicle, you're gonna wanna put the space and then the minus amount. But uh, I apologize about that. All right, so moving along here, you can generate several different types of palettes with this little gem of a code. GS, add with a capital A, palette with a capital P, the space bar, and then you can type any one of those items in, in all caps. So egg, wool, lime, seeds, poplar, pig food, herbicide, fertilizer, or tree, underscore, saplings, or liquid, underscore, fertilizer and then hit the enter key. And now we can go ahead and I'll give you a super turbocharged Flash Gordon style demonstration. <laughs> So last one in the roundup. So this is to add or remove wear on your vehicle. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say you're testing out a new workshop mod or something. So you want to put some wear on the vehicle so you can test to see if the workshop functions properly. Well, this is a good tool to use. Now it's only going to give you all or nothing. So when you, you can put any number in that you want, but it's going to give you a hundred percent wear. <laughs> nothing in between. So as the screen says, GS, add with a capital A, wear with a capital W, and amount with a capital A. Hit the space bar and then put any number you want in there. I usually just put 20 just because. And hit the enter key and you're off to the races. So let me show you what that looks like. 
GS, add where amount, space, 20. Hit enter, and boom, watch the wrench, bam. All right, everybody, so if you've been slacking off on the screenshots during the video, here they all are in one place. You can take your screenshot now. I hope you've got something out of this video that will help enhance your gameplay and make you enjoy Farming Simulator better. And I look forward to talking with you down in the comments section, so please do feel free to leave a comment because most often I learn something from all of you as well. And that's the beauty of YouTube. So until we meet again, my friends, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now. Well, you should know by now whether you can stand me or not, so please consider subscribing by tapping my logo right above the TV screen. Also, don't forget to tap that alert bell so you'll have a warning when I'm at your door. If you really want to be awesome, why not give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Thank you very much, and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.